I'm Kaylee Frosch, and I'm the Associate Winemaker here at Quailgate. I was born and raised in the Okanagan, so growing up surrounded by all the vineyards, it was impossible not to really be intrigued by wine. And I really just first got into wine by exploring all the wineries in the Okanagan and tasting wines throughout the valley. I originally studied microbiology at UBCO here. And then one year in a food microbiology lecture, a winemaker came in and he talked to us about the basic science of winemaking. And that was the first time that I had really thought about the whole process behind all the bottles of wine that I had drank. Um, and that lecture really stuck with me. And I started looking at different options for pursuing an education in winemaking. And I ended up going to Brock and studying enology and viticulture there. And then after finishing that degree, I came back and started working at Quail's Gate for my first harvest. And since then, I've had many roles throughout the winery. One of my favorite parts of winemaking is that we're creating a tangible product. It's really rewarding to tell people, oh, I work at Quail's Gate, I'm a winemaker there. And then they respond with, oh my God, I love Quail's Gate wines. Or they tell you a story of a time where they've enjoyed your wines. Um, there's just something really magical about that. I've been really fortunate to work with some really great winemakers, all of whom I've looked up to in different ways. Um, each one has been very open and willing to share their knowledge and their approach to winemaking with me, which has been invaluable in gaining a lot of knowledge in my short time in the industry. If I weren't a winemaker, realistically, I probably would have worked in some sort of um, laboratory in the medical field. Um, but if we're just basing this question on my current other interests and passions, maybe like a interior designer or party planner. <laughs> I tend to be very precise and attentive in my winemaking, however, not so much in a way where I'm trying to impose my own signature into the wines. Instead, I really want each wine to express its own signature sense of place and really just exhibit balance and quality above everything else. My favorite Quailsgate wine definitely changes all the time, depending on the vintage, um, depending on the situation. I really do think that each wine has a certain setting or situation where it would really shine. But if I had to pick my all-time favorite, it would be the Rosemary's Block Chardonnay. Um, there's just something about the style of that Chardonnay that is super elegant, but without being too reserved. And it's got a lot of fruit aromatics, a lot of florals, just like a tiny hint of oak. And it's really just a unique and um, enjoyable style of Chardonnay. I really did choose winemaking based on a whim. I just had a feeling based on my love of wine and my education in science that it would be a really cool intersection of the two. But I'm really glad that I just followed my gut and picked up and moved to Ontario and totally changed the direction that I was going because I really couldn't imagine doing anything else.